Hey everyone, welcome to the second video in the Python app building process using Kiwi. In this video, I'll go over how to install Visual Studio Code, how to get Python working, how to get GitHub extensions working, and how to install Kiwi. So first things first, we have to go to our browser and Google VS Code, Visual Studio Code, and then it should be the first link. On their website, they have options to download for Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. I'm on Windows and it automatically detects that, so I'll just click the big download button. After you click, after you click save, it should just put you into the dock, so you can follow this. But, I'll show you guys how to do that. So just double click on the installed file, accept the agreement. We want to usually keep all of these the same. But if you want, you can create a desktop icon. Next, install. And as you can see, it did not take that long. So finish after the setup completes. So now, this is Visual Studio Code. If you want to first go to extensions, go to Python, install this Python extension. And if you work with GitHub, you also usually want to have the GitHub repositories plugin installed. I already have these installed, but if you don't, this is usually how it looks. There's just a blue install button, so go ahead and click install. And I'll do the same with the Python one. If you don't have it installed, it should just be a blue button. And they're not gonna take too long to install. You might think that's it, but if you go to terminal and do anything Python related, maybe pip anything. I'm on Windows, so I did, I did the command Python and it took me to the Microsoft Store. If you're on any other platform and or on Windows, I usually recommend downloading Python not on the store. So just python.org, python.org, downloads the latest version, click save, and double click the file. So we want to add python.exe to path. We want to install now. And then it should just install pip, which is used in getting custom packages, and just python. And adding it to path also makes it so we don't have trouble later on accessing Python in Visual Studio or if you're using any other IDE. And we can also go ahead and disable the path length limit. This will help you out in the future after you get more used to Python when you're transferring files or anything like that. So setup was successful so we'll go back to Visual Studio Code and we'll check if Python is working. And if it's not, we can just close Visual Studio Code, reopen, and we can check now. Now, after I type in Python, it was added to path, so Python is working. So I'll go ahead and exit for now. And let's see if pip is working. Pip is also working. That is great news. Pip is something we use to get dependencies or packages, and Kiwi is a package in Python. So we can go over to our web browser. We can go to install Kiwi for Python. The first link should be their documentation, so I'll just follow their documentation. So I'm on Windows, they tell me the installation is pip. I go here, and then I use pip to install basically everything. So I'll paste that command in. This one's just installing, or if it's already installed, upgrading the setup tools and the virtual environment, which we'll need for Kiwi. So we did that, and now we can create a virtual environment called the Kiwi Venv, Kiwi Virtual Environment. So we'll do that. And while that's running, we can go to activate the virtual environment. So this is for Windows, this is for Linux or Mac OS. So I'll copy this and I'll paste that in. You might see an error like these, but but if you do see an error like that, we should it shouldn't matter too much because the virtual environment should be created. So we'll move on to the next step. So now we'll go to install Kiwi. So pre-compiled wheels is the simplest option. So I'll just go ahead and do that. This is also using pip. While that's installing, we can read ahead from their documentation. So we don't need any of these because the Windows version is only on pip and we should be able to import Kiwi in Python. So let's check their demo. On Windows, it should be here. So I'll try to run that. Or if that's not located, even though I did download the the sample program, we can just go ahead and start a new project and then import Kiwi. So I'll go here, File, New Text File, 
we can select a language. I'll select Python and import Kiwi. Import Kiwi and Kiwi devs. So as you can see, there's no errors. Everything's imported correctly. So now we'll go on to actually building. So to actually get started with the code, we don't need just Kiwi. We need to imp do something called importing the app from Kiwi. So Kiwi dot app from Kiwi dot app import app and also from Kiwi dot UIX dot label import label import label that's on a new line and that's UIX okay and now we can create a class called my app def build define a function called build pass the variable self and return a label which is what we imported here we imported the label so return label and that is text equals hello world and now down here if name name equals main equals main my app dot run so this is an extremely basic hello world app as you can see it's only 10 lines and if I remove these it's only eight lines but this is the basics the documentation is also extremely helpful whenever you want to learn a new programming language or in a, our example Kiwi so we'll go ahead and run this so you guys can see how it looks so we need to save it somewhere I'll just save it in my downloads I'll call it Kiwi.py and as you see when you try to run it it says no module named Kiwi.app this isn't anything related to pip or anything but I just wanted to show you guys this so you don't name your Python for uh, uh, Python file kiwi.py since whenever it's named kiwi.py there's multiple errors that's not fixable so we just want to go ahead and file save as and change it to anything else maybe one kiwi.py or test.py anything like that save run that again and after a couple of times it didn't show up I'll, so I'll do it one more time and you should see here the label you passed hello world should be here and if you change it to anything else maybe hi save we run it again oh it's already running so I'll close this I'll save and it shows you hi so this is the extreme basics just the framework but from here on out it should be pretty simple following the documentations